Because you are still interview the Shingyo Liquid Iron Man Hulkbuster Mark 46. So this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it does have a very nice box art of the Hulkbuster itself, and it's recommended for just six craft. And funnily enough, the set number for this one is MK46, and this set comes with 338 pieces, and you have two main figures. So you have Iron Man Mark 46 and also Captain America. So uh, the box itself. It's kind of packaged like a premium product, so that's definitely nice. And the feeling of the surface of the box is really nice. It feels kind of like matte. And yeah, on the Hulkbuster, on uh, this kind of MK46 uh, name right here, and also on the Shingyo logo, you have a little bit of uh, texture on here. So yeah, it does feel really good to touch on it. Um, yeah, but there isn't any on Iron Man or Captain America. But um, yeah, so this is the side of the box. So this is the other side of the box. And the bottom and the top, they are the exact same. In the back, it only shows you a big Shenyang logo. So how you open this box is by pushing this down or up. Yeah, it, it's packaged like a premium product. And inside, you have this smaller box, which has a Shenyang logo and uh, a kind of texture on it and you can open this up and inside it's where all of the bags are so yeah aside from that that's um, pretty much it for the packaging and as for the instructions it's uh, just like any other instruction manual and yeah um, this is the first page with the main figures this is the first page of the build this is the final page of the build it shows you the main figures and the hook buster and this is the final page right here so yeah nothing too special about the instruction manual so these are the extra pieces right here so you have two of these hands you have uh, two of these uh, technic pieces you have this third shooter piece you have this cylinder piece one by one blue plate piece round towel and uh, this blue stud and you have this uh, gold colored stud you have the cheese slope one by two red and this red colored uh, grill piece and yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for the extra pieces so the first main figure right here is Captain America so he comes with his shield right here which is quite accurate to the original Lego version because normally Shing Yun, uh makes more of a darker version of the shield but yeah I guess it's nice to get a more accurate version of it so for the uh, hip print here yeah, they went with their own version of Captain America's uh, kind of helmet here. And yeah, this one is designed to fit the Shingon molded Captain America helmet piece. Which, yeah, this this face print here without the helmet piece just looks bad. And yeah, they either could have just included the helmet piece or just went with the original uh, Lego head print. But yeah, so for the torso print itself, it's pretty accurate. You have the straps, you have the store in the middle, you know, you have uh, these red highlights, you have the belt, and you have the back head print and the back torso print the back head print is very accurate to the original like a main figure and yeah the back torso print you have uh, this strap right here and the shield holder and you have some of these red parts right here you have the belt and yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for Captain America the second figure right here is Iron Man Mark 46. So you have uh, the helmet right here, which looks really nice with all of the lines and stuff. And yeah, the eyes, they are quite well done. They're just a little bit too big, but I think they're fine. You can open up the helmet and reveal uh, Tony Stark's face. And if you remove this, you can take a more closer look at the face. And yeah, uh, it's quite accurate to the original face print of Tony Stark. And he does have an alternate angry expression, just like the original minifigure. He does also have a hair piece included, which is very nice of Shing On. And for the uh, torso print, you have uh, the arc character in the middle. You have these smaller arc characters at the side and of these gold highlights. And you have the Iron Man Mark for a Creed legs. And you have the back torso print and yeah the design of this is pretty cool
So yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for Iron Man Mark 46. So this is the Hulkbuster itself right here and as you can see it's very tall and uh, it's very big and bulky and yeah if you take the original Hulkbuster made by Lego and uh, put it next to it you can see how tall this thing is it's much more taller than the original one and it's much more bulkier um, but the original one is uh, just a little bit more wider I guess but um, yeah that's just that for the comparison but yeah let's start with the legs so the legs you know you have a lot of design going on here with all the stickers there are stickers throughout the suit this whole buster basically relies on stickers for detailing so yeah you have uh, some detailing down here you know with the knee part and you have the boots and yeah here you have this clipped on part um, yeah it's supposed to just uh, be stationary it's not supposed to be moved and if you look at the side you have this uh, extra arc reactor right here which is clipped on and yeah it's on here and it's on here it's on here as well and if you look at the top here you have more of the design you know uh, it looks quite similar to the Mach 46 design and yeah at the side right here you have uh, more sticker detailing and yeah that does look pretty good and at the back here you have these small crusters I believe these are not present on the original suit but it does kind of look cool and you can kind of adjust the crust until here so yeah you can do the same for the other one as well if you move up you can see uh, here you have a flap type thing uh, I believe this is supposed to be movable or it's supposed to be a design I'm not sure but yeah uh, you can see it as a flap or as a panel piece if you want to but um yeah so if you move up to the torso section you can see you have uh, some very similar design to the Mach 46 the arc character here it looks a little bit weird I'm not sure why they did this design it just looks bad but yeah I guess it's fine so you have the helmet piece here the design of the helmet here looks similar to the helmet uh, design on the uh, original Hulkbuster but the dome piece is different the molding for this dome piece is a little bit more different so yeah that's that you can kind of open this up and if you want to put in Iron Man you need to open this part up uh, by just lifting these two parts down here and you just open this up just like that and yeah uh, you can put in Iron Man inside you know you you have uh, two studs right there where you can put in Iron Man so yeah you can reconnect all of these parts it opens very similarly to the original Hulkbuster so yeah and at the side here you have these uh, moving parts you know with this lightsaber hilt piece so you know that's that and on the arm right here uh, so let's start with the left arm the left arm uh, you have this sticker piece right here it's the same on both sides and you have this part right here and you have this uh, this part which you can kind of move and you have uh, these individual arc reactors and you have this cruster which is kind of attached by a arm piece so yeah you can kind of position this and readjust the crust I guess and yeah it does look pretty good if you open his fingers here you can see you have the arc repulsor and you have all these fingers right here of course and you make a fist out of it and on the other side um, yeah this top part is the same but here instead of a sticker piece this is a stud shooter piece it does can fire but it doesn't fire that far it, it just kind of pops out so yeah I guess that's that you have the arc character right here and you have this panel piece which I guess covers up the arc character I'm not sure but yeah you can see it as a flat piece if you want to and the arc reposter is also there as well um, so if you move up uh, you have these flaps you have this design right here which is 
uh, very very similar to the Mark 46 suit you can kinda uh, move this up if you want to and yeah it's on both sides and on top of here you have these arrows right here not sure what uh, that's supposed to mean but yeah it's there um, so at the back of the torso here you have two of these kinda fuel tanks type of thing or they are rocket boosters I guess and yeah you can kinda position this and you know you can put it like this and yeah under here it's just a wheel piece and on top it's just a blue stud piece and yeah this part it falls off occasionally so I had to super glue it on uh, onto the suit so yeah that's a little bit annoying uh, for that part but aside from that the back is just all exposed studs and yeah aside from that I believe that's pretty much it for the Hulkbuster Mark 46 so overall conclusion of this set here so how do I think of it? Well, for the figures themselves, I think the quality of the figures here, they are definitely great. The only problem I have is with Captain America, they should have used the original head, but they have been using this for a long time, and yeah, for some reason, they never went back to using the original uh, Lego version of the Captain America head. But for the Hulkbuster itself, I think the Hulkbuster here, the design of it here is definitely great but a lot of uh, parts in this build here it falls off occasionally so yeah that's very annoying uh, one of the examples is the back part even though it doesn't fall off uh, because I've put glue on it yeah if I didn't this would be falling off all the time and it would be very annoying so yeah if you do get this set you should probably apply some glue throughout the build to you know to, to make sure everything's in place and stuff like that and yeah another example is this part this part falls off uh, quite a lot so yeah uh, you just have to watch out for that but aside from that I think uh, this is a very nice looking build and if you are a fan of Hulkbusters you should definitely get this and uh, you know, if you don't like the design of this, you can check out all of the other Hulkbusters that Shingon and Sembo Blocks made because each one of them they are all unique. You know, they have their own special abilities, I guess. And yeah, you should uh, definitely take a look at them. So yeah, if you want to buy the set here, I'll put my link here down in the description box below, along with my social managers down in the description. So if you like my show, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.